Uh, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly uh, and safely mount a uh, like a home theater rack uh, to the wall in your uh, in your basement. This is the AV rack that the uh, that the cable company uh, installed and you can see how horrible and messy it is. Uh, the cables go all the way up here uh, and it's just it's just a complete mess. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take all the gear out of this rack and I'm going to put it in this much smaller uh, mid-atlantic rack. Uh, and I'm going to mount it right up here. Uh, let me show you how uh, to find the studs. So I've got my stud finder right here. They make all sorts of different kinds of these. So you're going to press the button and you're going to slowly start sliding it to where you think that there is a stud. And this one will tell us where the edge of the stud is and then it'll tell us where the center is and it'll, it should beep. There we go. So slide it back a little bit. So right there we've got the center of the stud. Since this is a, a client's house, I did put painter's tape uh, on the wall because you don't want to draw. Uh, you don't want to put markings all over the walls uh, in your client's house or in your house. Before you start screwing uh, screws in the wall, it's a good idea to go ahead and, uh, and do, do a little pilot hole. Uh, so let's drill this hole. And you don't want to you don't want to push it all the way through. So you hear that sound? So that, that sound right there means there is a stud behind it. Um, so actually, if, if we if we go up a little bit higher, and if you and if you drill like this, so there's no stud behind the wall here. You see how easy that went through? So if it does, so if it does that, that means you completely missed a stud. I wanted to interject into this video really fast and just show you this one thing really fast. This is a sample wall that I made for another video, but if I turn it around, this is what it looks like behind the drywall uh, inside your house. Uh, the only difference here is half of this is wood and the other half of this is metal. But when I was using the stud finder to find the stud, this is essentially the stud. It is a two by four uh, that is behind the drywall. Uh, and the studs are generally on 16 inch centers. 16 inch centers means uh, from the center of this stud to the center of this stud. Basically that means when you find your first stud, if you use a tape measure and you go over 16 inches, uh, you will find the second one. One more thing, the reason to drill a pilot hole is because if you're drilling a lag bowl directly into this, that's not exactly that thick and it's not pressure treated wood. Uh, so it's possible that if you are drilling in, if you end up not being directly in the center, if you're slightly off to the side, because really you don't know exactly where the stud is, you just have a pretty good idea, you don't want to split the wood. So if you drill the pilot hole and then put your lag bolt in, you're not going to split the wood. Got my laser level on the wall, so we've got it lined up with the tape, the marks that we put on the wall, uh, and our first uh, screws. So we're just going to put some marks on the plywood where we're going to put the next uh, screws just so we can make sure we go into the stud. So we're going to put one fastener there and we can put one fastener right there. This is our Phillips head wood screw and our washer. We do have a slightly oversized washer. You don't exactly have to have a washer that big. Uh, and now we're going to get it right here and we're going to put it right on this dot right here because we know that there is a stud there and there should be a lot of pressure. So you'll know that you're going into a stud. One, and we'll get this guy over here. And then we're gonna put two more uh, in the center. Uh, there's one important thing uh, to remember as you're screwing the screw uh, through the plywood uh, and through the drywall and into the stud that's behind the wall. Uh, as you're getting close to it, you don't want to uh, completely tighten it down so much that you end up stripping the uh, you strip the wood behind the drywall so you can feel it as you're screwing in uh, it's starting to get it's starting to get tight and once it starts to get snug uh, you want to stop this next step uh, is not necessary uh, but we're going to go ahead and do it we have some paint that is the same color as the wall so we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint this uh, this backer board so we're just putting a little bit of painter's tape uh, around the edge of the board uh, just to make sure we don't get any fresh paint on the wall so let's finish taping this up and then we'll throw some paint on the wall I am going to use uh, four of these lag bolts uh, to attach this rack uh, to the backer board. Uh, when you're using a, a lag bolt, the lag bolt is, uh, is thicker than your average screw, so it's important you want to make sure you drill a, a smaller pilot hole uh, in the wall first, just because you don't want to, you don't want to split uh, the wood. You just want to make sure that your bit that you're using is, is about half the size of your, uh, of your, of your lag here. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to use a washer. We already have the uh, the holes uh, mounted up here, so we're actually going to go ahead and uh, and mount the rack up here so that we know that it's in place, and then we're gonna take the rack down and then we're gonna paint the wall. We'll get this last lag in here. 
So we've got two of them up there, and of course we've got a level to make sure it's level. And we're gonna put this last lag in right now. Lag and washer. Adjust your clutch. You can see the rack is the, the rack is literally six feet ten inches off the ground, uh, and there's going to be plenty of room underneath for us to coil any uh, extra cable that we have. The next step is to uh, swap the equipment out of this rack and uh, put it up in that rack, and then we'll wire it up. Here we go. The rack is uh, completely mounted. Uh, plenty of room for the cables uh, down here, uh, and I've got all the low voltage cables in the back dressed on the left side and all the high voltage uh, on the right side. If you guys have any questions at all uh, about this uh, install or any specific questions about what types of uh, fasteners to use if you're going to be using something different, like if you're going to be going into uh, cement or, uh, or any kind of um, masonry, you know, you want to use little metal uh, mollies, I can maybe go into another video and show you guys how to do that. But if you've got any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if this was your first time to my channel, uh, please subscribe. Have yourself a great day.